Um, so today I decided to do something a little different. I decided to do a video where um, I answer questions about my zodiac sign. And um, in case some of y'all didn't guess already from tuning into my channel, I am a Libra. I am a Libra woman. Um, yes, my birthday is October the 22nd. So I am born on the cusp. So I am a whole lot of Libra and a little teeny bit of Scorpio, okay? So today the question that I get the most as a Libra woman, people wanting to know about Libras is why do Libras ghost people so much? I feel like Libras get a bad rep for ghosting. Like that's something that we are known for. And a lot of people just don't really know exactly why their Libra just up and rolled out on them or stopped answering phone calls and stuff like that. So today I kind of just want to answer that question to the best of my ability as a Libra woman. So let's get right into it. And I got some notes right here. Okay. So I won't get off track because I can babble and babble. Okay, so like I said it before, I'm a Libra woman, and the question is, why do Libras ghost people? So, first of all, I just want to say, um, Libras really don't like confrontation. Um, Libras can get confrontational, and Libras usually like to stay pretty calm, but once they flip that switch, they can get really, you know, they, they can get to the side of having like a bad temper and like flipping out. So Libras really don't like confrontation. If they can just, I guess, kind of creep away without being disruptive or not causing an argument, they would rather take that way than saying something that might hurt your feelings or just completely blowing up on you. So, okay, one of the reasons why Libras might ghost you, especially if you're in a relationship, a romantic relationship with a Libra, man or woman, is because they don't, they might not take you seriously. And what I mean is that Libras are technically, most of the time, relationship people. Um, Libras like to be in relationships. Even though I know Libras, you know, get bad reps or whatever, because a lot of Libras are, you know, kind of into their looks and people say that you know libras can be a little sexy this that and the third but even when you look at a lot of libras who gotten that bad rap and i'm gonna take my girl kim k for example and um uh, my girl amber rose for example um especially amber we, we so, well we're gonna go with kim and amber like they get the the h word thrown at them a lot um and you know kim came up off of her tape her you know Okay, her and Ray J. And Amber, she came up off of her relationship with Kanye West. And they both get the H word thrown at them a lot. But when you really look at their history, Kim and Amber have been in long-term relationships. Like, they might date a little bit in between, but they don't have long dating periods. Quickly after dating, they're in a relationship with somebody. So I said all that to say that if your Libra is ghosting you, it's maybe, it's maybe because they don't take you seriously. Um, when dating a Libra, okay, and this just is a little tip I'm going to give you. When you're dating a Libra, you need to make sure that you are presenting yourself in a way where you're coming off as if you want something long-term with them, as, as if you want to be in a relationship with them. If you're coming off where you're just kind of like dating, you're just having fun, and you're not really being assertive with your Libra, they're really not going to take you seriously. Nine out of ten times if y'all dating, Libra probably was already dating somebody else before they, before they met you or somebody else around is interested. So if they're not taking you seriously, then they'll probably ghost you and move on to another um, relationship or somebody that they think wants to be serious with them okay moving on um libras can also ghost you if you if they gave you too many chances okay i'm a libra woman i give a lot of chances when i'm dating somebody like i might be like hey you know i really didn't like that you know that wasn't cool but you know i'm gonna forgive you boo we gonna keep moving forward libras give a lot of chances like to the point where to the point where 
Libra friends and family is just like, are you still with this person? Like, I thought you told me they was like this, that, and the third. And Libra like, no, I'm just sticking there. I'm going to rock it out with them. Libras give a lot of chances. But after a while, Libra gets tired just like anybody else. Instead of them kind of like letting you know the relationship is over, more than likely, they will just ghost you. They will just kind of be like, hmm. And I'm guessing, I'm not going to say I'm guessing. I know because I'm a Libra. I feel like Libras look at the person that they gave us several chances to like okay well you should have known like eventually one day i was going to be like all right that's enough okay like you didn't did too much and this is over so me ghosting you shouldn't be coming to you as a big surprise okay another reason why libra may ghost you you piss them off now like i said before libras really aren't confrontational so if somebody pisses libra off it depends. Lib Libras can switch because sometimes they can get hot-headed and go off. But if you piss them off to the point where they feel like it's no way that they could salvage this situation or you just did way too much, they'll just ghost you. They'll just be like, you know what? You really pissed me off to the highest power. I had enough and this is it. Like, I just got to go. Okay. Another reason why Libra may ghost you. They don't trust you. They don't. Mm-mm. I'm a Libra, I'm a Libra, and I, I, I get it. I know how it is because I think I have ghosted people be for this too. Um, Libras a lot of times see a lot of things. They may hear a lot of things, but they'll just like keep it in the back of their mind. Like, you know, because Libras give a lot of benefit of the doubt to people. And the reason why, because Libras are the scales and we kind of weigh both sides. Like, even if you do us dirty, like we'll be like, oh, like, I know why they did me dirty. Like, I kind of deserve that for real. Like, we're going to weigh it on both sides. We're going to see both sides. We're going to see how you felt upset. Then we're going to see how we felt upset. And then we're going to judge it and weigh it on our Libra scale. Most of the time, we'll be cool with it. But if we realize that, you know, we can't trust you and you just keep doing shady stuff. And after we've been weighted on the scale several times and you just keep on doing us dirty and not treating us right, we're going to go straight up because we know that our friendship and our relationship is the best revenge that we could give to you is snatching it away so if we don't trust you you can't be trusted we're gonna ghost you okay moving on okay now this one i feel like if you're in a relationship with a libra and i have dated libra men before um and this has happened to me to me as a Libra woman and I should have seen it coming okay Libra may ghost you because they have chosen somebody else okay now this this is rough or whatever because I feel like especially if you turn into this video to get some advice a Libra might have ghosted you male or woman um man or woman uh, might have ghosted you um and, and you might fear that they have they have chosen somebody else and I'm going to just keep them 100 with you. They probably did. Libras, okay, Libras like to be in relationships. And I said that before. Okay, Libras like to be in relationships. And when Libras are single, they usually have a lot of suitors. Like people wanting to date them. Like people just wanting to be cool with them and wanting to be their friends or whatever. Like, because Libras attract a lot of attention. Like, it's just something that Libras naturally have. Like, Libras are naturally cool people. Like I said, we are very indecisive. That's because we can see both sides. And people kind of like that fairness and justiceness about us or whatever. So, when Libra becomes single, it's usually a lot of people like, hey, you're single now? Like, you want to go out? You want to kick it? So, that can kind of, like, be overwhelming to Libra. So, they'll want to get into a relationship. Now, the thing is, they usually are selective on who they, they choose because they want to be in a long-term relationship. They don't want to be dating around or get into a relationship with somebody that only lasts for a little bit of time and they back out here dating again. So, if they feel like you aren't the best selection for them at that time they will choose somebody else and they will ghost you like i said i'm a libra woman i had this happen to me before by a libra man and i had to accept it and it hurt 
But at the end of the day, I don't want to be with somebody that, you know, don't want to be with me. And I, I ain't saying he ain't want to be with me, okay? I ain't saying that because he was feeling me. But I guess, you know, he went with the better option for himself at that time. So we just going to move on. We're going to move on. Okay, moving on to another reason why Libras might ghost you. And this one also was a little harsh, but it's, it's real. They don't like you. They, they've gotten to the point where they don't like you anymore. Or they didn't really like you to begin with. Or maybe they just got bored. Libras are very fair. And they, they try to be very equal when it comes to not being judgmental. But... If it's something that you do and a Libra might be like, hey, you know, I really didn't like that. And you keep on doing it. It can kind of push them to the end where they're like, you know what? I just really don't like this person. I really don't like this person coming around. They're being annoying. They're being irky. I asked them several times to chill. They didn't want to chill. Um, and it's just starting to be too much. So I'm just going to ghost them. Not the best way, you know, to handle a situation, but it's real. But it's real. Libras, they ghost. Like, that's that's something that Libras need to work on. Libras need to work on. And I, and I will say this. As a Libra woman, it's something that I have worked on over the years. I try to communicate with people why I don't want to talk to them anymore or why this relationship is coming to an end. And another thing I'm going to say, and this, this is a little sneak, sneak, sneaky, um, I'm not going to say sneaky, but this is a little hint that I'm going to give to people that might be dating a Libra or friends with a Libra that's ghosting them. Unless you really did something to piss Libra off, they're not going to block you. And you can still keep Libra in your life. Libra is always open to still being friends. Maybe not on the personal level that y'all once had before like this, but Libras will still keep in contact with you. They still, they still remain in contact with you if you was a cool person and they really like you or whatever. So it's like Libras are never really gone too far. They just might not want the relationship to stay the way that it once was. They might just want things to kind of just, you know, just kind of love you from a distance type of thing. But if y'all was cool on social media, that's your Instagram friend, that's your Facebook friend. Unless you really did something to piss them off, they won't delete you. Or whatever and i'm speaking this is me speaking as a libra woman you know because ghost is somebody and i've been ghosts you know i've been ghosts other signs ghosts but i just feel like libras you know usually are known for it the most but when somebody ghosts you or whatever it does leave you in the state of like yo like what what happened like what did i do wrong like can you let me know so I can get some closure? People always ask for closure. A lot of times they really don't be wanting closure is. I mean, that's that's another another story for another time. But this concludes my video. I hope you like this talk with a Libra woman, me, intuitive mama. Okay. Um, I I always say this. I'm going to post more videos, and then a lot of times I slack off because indecisive leaving no i really be having a lot of stuff going on but no i'm really going to try to stay focused on my channel um i appreciate all my new subscribers thank you for subscribing to me um to the people that always comment below about my accent yes i am from baltimore maryland so i try to shake the accent i can't people can hear it all the time <laughs> but please as always like share and subscribe and I hope to see you again in my at my next video. Please turn in and watch my next video. All right, y'all. Peace.